Tonight, two celebrity chefs will square off in the greatest culinary battle of all time. time. Okay. I'll take okay. That was just the start of my sentence. <laughs> <laughs> There's just one catch. Damn, one teaspoon is big as shit. How do you know it was that big? Well, are you sure it's a teaspoon and not a tablespoon? This is a tablespoon. Okay, I didn't put it in yet. <laughs> they won't be the ones in the kitchen. Oh, the ball's separated. It's very funny to watch those, that dick and ball <laughs> float around. The mind of a chef. I don't know what to do, so we're just going to move on. Partnered with the hands of an idiot. Hide it all. Hide the whole thing. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Only connected oh. by a payphone. I don't know what he's saying. She hung up on me. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> what am I looking at? I love that. <laughs> Phoning it in starts right now. I, there may have been a hair. <laughs> I'm sorry my hair got in there. No. <laughs> <laughs>while the chefs on the phone have prepared their recipes, the chefs in the kitchen are not allowed to know what they're making. Each team will be given two hours to complete their dish and present it to our panel of judges. Let's meet our contestants. Johnny Cakes has lost every episode this season. He's back for a third time looking for his first ever baking competition win. Well, I'm back because I lost last week. Never won much in my life. Uh, like, like I've never won a competition. At a certain point, it's just sad. It's like the guy who never graduates high school. Like, I'm a senior, senior, senior. I'm doing my victory lap. I should have graduated last year. But today, he will be phoning in his instructions and recipe to this guy. So my name is Quasi, and I can't cook. Not cooking is a choice. So the most difficult thing I can cook is tuna out of the can. Yeah, I don't want anything here, yeah, yeah. I'm just here for the good vibes, you know what I'm saying? Jennifer Yee is the chef owner of Baker's Bench and a former pastry chef at Conby, which was awarded best new restaurant by Bon Appetit. I think pastry is harder than cooking. It's more precise, it takes a lot of planning, it takes skill, it takes technique. I want to win. I don't want to say that I want to win, but I would like to win. <laughs> but today she'll be phoning in her instructions and recipe to this idiot. My name is Keith and I'm not the best baker, but I'm an okay cook. I'm really a, more of an artist. We feel as we go, we're creating something. I'm very good at following instructions and sometimes I even know what they're talking about. Quasi? I don't think Quasi knows anything about cooking. To begin, each team will have enough quarters for 30 minutes on the phone. And their time starts right now. Hello, hello. Hey, Johnny. How you been? I've been good. Hello. Yeah. Hello. How's it going? I'm good. I'm ready. You're going to be okay. making two things today. I can't tell you the okay. names of them. OK, two things. That's good. Today, we're making a Basque cake. It's from the Basque region of France. It's a very butter-rich cake, and then it's filled inside with a layer of pastry cream. It's a little bit ambitious. I'm a little bit worried about the time, but technique-wise, I think these guys can do it. You're gonna put 475 grams of milk into the pot. And it's okay to use <laughs> vitamin D milk. That's perfect. You know, in my family, we call it daddy milk. <laughs> I want you to grab a packet of active dry yeast. Active dry yeast. Holy like in a yeast packet, shit. it looks like a condom. Yes, I have two packs, three packs. Today we're taking a classic donut and adding sort of a new element to it. So we're going to fry up some donuts, but then um, glaze them in this delicious cinnamon brown butter glaze. But I don't want it to just be like butter. We're gonna brown the butter. We're gonna try to elevate it, take it to the next level. Should I put it on the uh, cutting board and snort it? Great, no, don't snort it. Don't oh, snort got it. it. Hello. Okay, how many grams of milk? 475. Okay, Just put on medium heat on the stove. So there's a list of words you can't say to keep. Oh, okay. You can't say cake. Okay. Pastry, pastry cream. This is like 
charades. Hey, how many grams of sugar? One, one, three. 40 grams of cornstarch. You just need the yolk of one egg. So one yolk okay. into the bowl. One yolk. And then crack two more eggs. Whisk all the eggs and the sugar and the cornstarch together. And then right before it boils, temper it into the egg. And you're gonna whisk it all together. I imagine in some ways that the chef their hands are going into my hands like little ghost arms, and I'm just doing everything for them. I'm, there's nothing happening up here. <laughs> Whatever they say, I do. Then I want you to go to the refrigerator and grab some whole milk. I want you to measure out one and a quarter cups of milk. Go pop that in the microwave for 30 seconds. Can you look around and see if there's a thermometer? Absolutely. See, baking is hard because like you have to be precise. I'm more of a improvisate, improvise, help me out, help me out internet. Improvisation? Improvise, I'm an improviser. I be improvising and shit. All right, so Quazy, what we need is the milk to be between 90 and 100 degrees. Because otherwise okay. our yeast is gonna die. Because yeast is alive. Because yeast, yeast is, alive. is a living organism. So I want you to sprinkle one pack over the top of that milk. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go to the pantry, grab some sugar, and measure out a teaspoon of sugar. Got it, sugar, 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 salt. Not salt, not, don't you dare do salt. Teaspoon of sugar, and I want you to sprinkle it into the milk and give that a stir. Damn, one teaspoon is big as shit. I didn't know it was that big. Well, are you sure it's a teaspoon and not a tablespoon? This is a tablespoon. Okay, I didn't put it in yet. <laughs> right, and we should have known. Wow, it's really getting thick fast. It yeah. went from like liquid to thick wid. <laughs> it's thick over here. Thick -wid. Yeah, yeah. And then you're going to add the vanilla paste, the rum, you're gonna add a pat of butter, and then you're gonna put that in an ice bath, okay? So you're gonna get two bowls. We have to chill it really quickly. I think I'm using a very proper French technique. You trained in France. I trained in America. America, from a French person? From some French people, mostly Americans. I thought that only French people made pastries, professionally at least. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's true. I think it is true. I All the best, <laughs> All the best, you want to go to a pastry shop, people are like, oh, is it French? And people are like, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I want you to, don't touch it, but I want you to look at the milk. Do you see any action happening with the yeast and the milk? The milk is looking like a, a milky porridge. A milky what? A milky porridge. Can you go ahead and get two eggs? I believe there's some in the two pantry eggs. that are probably room yeah. temperature. I want you to crack both into that glass. Fancy, absolutely. Then I want you to measure out a quarter cup, one fourth of a cup of granulated white sugar, and then a teaspoon of salt. Teaspoons and tablespoons are different. They are. They're different. We're moving on. You need a KitchenAid. Okay. You need four sticks of butter. Four sticks of butter into a stand mixer. 454 grams of sugar. You're gonna crack three eggs in a bowl. And then can you add some vanilla goop to that? And then you can just kind of add the eggs a little at a time. Okay, now I want you to take that butter mixture that we have, put it into the, the mixing bowl. All right, now I want you to turn the mixer on, measure out four cups of all-purpose flour. What does coagulating mean? Because it looks like it's coagulating, but I don't know what coagulating means. Coagulating is not probably what's happening, but I, okay, I appreciate the SAT word because that's, that's, <laughs> that's a hard word. This is my last quarter. After we get disconnected, I'm gonna be gone for you for quite possibly a very long time. So you're gonna put two teaspoons of baking powder with the flour, and then you're gonna do one teaspoon of salt. Yeah, you just add it to your eggs. Easy recipe. Oh <laughs> boy. Well, we got a lot to do. Okay, so then we're gonna, that milk mixture, I want you to slowly pour it in. Slowly pour it in. And then we're gonna add the flour in. Okay, so put down a cutting board. A cutting board's good, and dust okay. it with some flour. So you want me to bake this? Don't bake it yet, but you can line the pan. Well, this is just how, that's how I, I heard they do it in France, so. I don't, I don't know what he's saying. Oh, I'm out. Oh, I'm out. That was dumb. I didn't tell him what to do next. She hung up on me. <laughs> I'm not sure who, how I'm getting hung up on anymore. Normally in this show it gets hung up, but I think she's just hanging up on me. With their initial round of quarters gone, now each chef will compete in every YouTube commenter's favorite segment, Cup and Ball. He's done. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I'm gonna mix this just for a bit and then prep. This is hard. Huh. There. It's still a little wet. Uh, and we don't know what we're making. 
Oh, it's so slimy. I think I need more flour. It's slimy. All right. Hey! Oh. Now they'll spin the wheel of mayhem to determine how many quarters the fates allow. Throw the dice, throw the dice. I got eight. <laughs> Yo, I need some of these for my laundry machine. Hey, I'm back. What's up, man? I'm sorry I dropped out. I didn't, I thought I had another quarter. I took the dough out and I put it on top of the cutting board. Is that the right thing to do? All right, great. We're gonna need that, okay? So knead it a little bit. You're gonna pinch a piece of the dough up, but see if you can stretch it enough that you can see light pass through it. Oh, definitely not. It is, it is thick. It is thick. I don't know what to do, so we're just gonna <laughs> move on. Okay. Do you guys have like those plastic bags that are triangles that chefs use for pants? A piping bag? Like, yes. You want me to fill this bag up with the, the, the goo? Yeah, fill it up with the fill it up with the goo in the KitchenAid. Okay, it's almost all the way full with batter. And okay, gosh, don't, it's a don't lot. fill it all the way full. It's already full. Heard they do it in France. In France. Butter, when it's in the hands of the French. French. They make it work so hard. Okay, it's been um, rimmed. It's been rimmed, okay. Pour like a, a teaspoon of oil in your bowl. You okay, can I'm, I'm gonna tell you when I'm starting to pour, you tell me to sorry, stop. Sorry, sorry, I said teaspoon, pour. that's on me, that's on me. I meant tablespoon. But honestly, oh, tablespoon. I, have a feeling, okay. I, I have a feeling you put in enough. Now take the dough and just place it in the bowl. And do you have a tea towel nearby? Yeah, yeah. Rest it on top of the bowl, cover the bowl. Oh. Like, like the dough is gonna go take a little nap. So that thing you just made, is, is step one. We're gonna take that and we're gonna dip it in a second part. So, so we need to make that second part. We need something like a big pot. Yeah, I got a big black pot, but it's really fancy and it has like a G. And we're gonna fill it with oil. So get a half a stick of butter. Half a stick of butter, got it. And we are going to brown this butter. If you have a rubber spatula, you're sort of making sure yep. that there's no burning happening, but the butter's melting Got it. down. Oh, it looks great. I feel like I'm breaking bad. Oh shit, it's browning. It's boiling. Oh shit, now it's smelling kind of burnt. What the f It's black now. Take it off, take it off, take it off. <laughs> yeah, Why is it yeah, burnt? Yeah. Well, how high is the heat? Yeah, it's uh, it, it's not brown, it's br it's dark brown. Just like a moment ago, you told me that it was still the, the like butter color. I told you I was gonna disappoint you. Now you want me to put the cold custard in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like gelatin. You're gonna whisk the goo up really, just like very vigorously, so it's not chunky anymore. <laughs> when you feel like it's kind of all broken up, then you can put it into a piping bag. Do the same technique? Up. Yeah, you're just gonna put it in the center only though. You're gonna fill it up. Once you're done booping, you can put that in your 350 oven. Now we just wait. Can we just wait? Do you wanna try to carve a cold stick of butter into something? <laughs> yes. The dough that is rising needs to be rolled out and cut into shapes. And I'm gonna let you sort of like choose what shape you want. Dicks. <laughs> that, you. <laughs> You answer that way too quickly, but okay, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna carve all of this butter into the word butter. I'm at the E, the E is tough. I'm doing a lowercase E. This is not how they do it in France. Pastries are made all around the world, Keith. I know that they're made all around the world. Look, my French, the French audience is gonna be loving this bit. Okay. <laughs> oh no, Holy I have one minute shit. left and, and we have a lot of things to do. Talk to me, talk to me, talk okay, to me. take the brown butter off, put a half brown a teaspoon of vanilla into the mixing bowl. So in that bowl should be powdered sugar, heavy cream, and vanilla. I'm about to get disconnected. There's so many things to say and so little say, time. Say more. Okay. All right, we have one minute left and then we're cut off. Check the thing in the oven in like 10 minutes. It'll probably be ready in 15 to 20 minutes. But just okay. when you touch the top, it's gonna spring back, okay? Just when I touch the top, it'll spring back. Okay, that's how I know it's done. Put the brown butter in that bowl. Brown butter in the powdered sugar. Mix it, mix it, mix it. That's like yep. a glaze. And then you're gonna bake off those dicks. I can't believe I'm bake saying this. Bake off those gonna, dicks, hell yeah. You're gonna bake them off. And then just put the powdered sugar with the scents on top when it's completely cold. And when it comes out of the fridge, I take it out of the pan, I'll dust it. You're gonna roll them out, you're gonna bake them. Oh, fry, I meant fry, F I meant fry. <laughs> he doesn't even know about fry, oh my God. Oh, we're so far from finished. With the chefs out of quarters, Keith and Quasi will have to finish the last 30 minutes alone. I have no idea what's happening. I, it's not coming back. 
I know how to roll these dicks up. These dicks have glaze. These dicks have what? Glaze, glaze, glaze oh. dicks. Glaze donuts. It's donuts. It's definitely donuts. You don't glaze anything else, right? I hope he just puts two and two together. You're making dicks? No, not originally. <laughs> I need that dough to rise ASAP because I need to make these freaking penises. And I'm serious. I'm trying to make colored sugar. Then I'm gonna try to make powdered sugar with a food processor. Yeah, this dough is, is definitely better, but it's like there's a lot of oil at the bottom. I wonder if that's like a problem. All right, I, got, I gotta go for it. Oh, I hope my chef who represents us is pretty charming because I'm about to f this up. Oh my gosh, it could be a disaster. The dough isn't doing what I think I wanted to do. And I don't know what I wanted to do, Rachel. That's the thing. Do we have like any, do we have a dick shaper that I can throw into a mold? A dick shaper? Yeah. Let's try piping dough. I've never done that. Let's try it. Here, squeeze it down and, and like pipe it onto this. See, if, see what happens. Does it pipe out? Yeah, it's a fucking dick right here, bro. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, yeah, so dick. put all the dough in your piping bag and pi when you'll pipe them straight in the oil when the oil's ready. Oh, fuck yeah, And Keith. it'll get bigger. You're so smart. Thanks. Doesn't look done. I'm gonna turn the heat up. Well, she, she wanted me to decorate it cool. It can't cool down until it's done. And some of them have big balls, some of them have small balls, and it's totally fine. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. 20 minutes. <laughs> small dicks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, f the balls separated. Yeah, I hope he doesn't forget about the thing in the oven. I'm a little worried that it's still gonna be hot, so we won't be able to take it out of the pan. Do we still have the big freezer? Okay, let's do that. Let's put it right on the ice, maybe? Well, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. How much time do we have left? Six minutes? Tell me when we have two minutes. I'm not sticking together, come on, man. You're a team. What I need to do is make smaller versions of it. Cut, yeah, there you go. Oh, shit. oh no! Four minutes. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get a fucking cake onto this pan. It's gonna pour custard Ooh. everywhere, Rachel. What if I just did this? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I, there's just no, it's not good to do the other option. <laughs> oh boy. Man, it was really going well. <laughs> not good. I should just keep the paper on too. You know, the paper looks good. Oh, you want it to be a What if I just did the, I that, it's stupid. I'm just doing the whole thing. <laughs> that was supposed Hide to be it all. <laughs> Hide the whole thing. One, One minute. minute. Perfect. More than enough time, chef. All good. This is definitely not what the French are going for. I'm not French. <laughs> if I'm I were Tennessee. French, I would crush this. Does Johnny want you to add this? Johnny, I'm improvising, Johnny. I'm here to win. Three, two, one. Hands up, bakers. <laughs> How you feeling? Uh, not great. I feel fantastic. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the judging. Today's criteria is taste, presentation, and execution. Welcome everyone to judging. My name is Jimmy Wong. I am an internet chef host, and I actually am a prior champion winner on this show. So I feel qualified to sit behind this desk. Today's theme was butter. And boy, do I love butter. My name is Stephanie. I'm the executive pastry chef of Blue Star Donuts. So butter has been my life for the last 10 years. So I'm ready to see what you guys have for me today. Hey. <laughs> I had no idea. Okay. It was Good. butter. Inside. You got it? I, I read the culture. Sorry, oh. <laughs> what kind of yeah. Judges, uh, it's an honor to be presenting my dish in front of you. I did not know we'd have the donut queen here, but I'm so glad we did. Because today, <laughs> I will be presenting to you a very traditional donut, uh, and I hope that the, the star of the show is the brown, uh, the brown butter cinnamon glaze. Um, <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> what am I looking at? Oh, oh, I said donut. I said donut. This feels very on theme for you, Johnny. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is I definitely a ballsy that. choice. I'll say that much. I mean, yours. Not so much mine. <laughs> well, I wanted to represent everybody today. Start with the tip, see how you like it, and then you can go deeper. <laughs> 
Ching. <laughs> I mean, dong. Yeah. <laughs> I think looking mm. at the texture inside, mm -hmm. this is what I expect for a donut. It does feel a little heavy. Okay. But everything else checks out so far. Yeah. It's pretty good. It, um, I, mine's a little raw in the middle. That's why I'm sounding so optimistic. Okay. okay. <laughs> and a little dense. Like it does actually eat more like a cake donut totally. than it used raised. It does taste buttery though. Okay. Yeah. I get I get butter when I'm tasting the dough. So. Well, that's the theme of the episode. Right. So maybe. That's good. Yeah, what kind of yeast did you use? Was it instant rise or was it the? Yeah. So there is active dry yeast in there. There is. Um, I think maybe we didn't let it rise <laughs> quite long enough. Mm -hmm. In fact, we got. I got a little distracted today. Further observation, the first bites, it hit all the marks of what I thought the donut would be, right? It has the sweetness and the sort of the, the crunchiness of the fried outside. Mm -hmm. But it is pretty dense on the inside. And some areas I found squeezing it, you know, it's like, this is like pretty dry. And another yeah. area I squeezed it and it felt like it was oozing. Flavor balance is, is nice. I like the citrus with the spice that's there's going citrus. on. citrus? Yeah, I think. some orange shavings. Oh, right, citrus. I mean, <laughs> is it there? <laughs> yes, yes, sorry, yes, yes, there's citrus, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Do you want to taste it, John? I'd love to. <laughs> and you know what? Sometimes donuts are a little crooked, and that's okay too. That is okay. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it is quite dense. It is. It eats like a cake donut or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was smart of me to add citrus. Yeah. I'm so glad that was in my original recipe. <laughs> a Basque cake for you. It is a cake from the Basque region of France. It's filled with pastry cream, vanilla, rum, orange zest. It should be rich, it should be moist. The cake should look golden brown, even and uniform. We bake it, we let it cool, flip it out of the pan, and then I covered it with powdered sugar. <laughs> it's from a region in France, you said? Yeah, it's from the Basque region. Oh, okay. I don't know where in France that is because I didn't study in France. Yeah, I knew it was French! <laughs> oh. oh! Wow! I was not expecting purple. Oh. Yeah, me neither. Is purple normal? Um, purple is not traditional. But seeing as how I did not study in France, <laughs> um, we kind of go with whatever we want here in the States, you know? Yeah. So, is there something. a message for us? Oh, butter. It says butter. In butter. In butter. You got to get points for that. Wow. Yeah, Jen, this is really a marvelous edition. What is the point? I just like to be on the nose, just in case people don't get it. It's like $15 worth of butter. <laughs> <laughs> 20 oh, like, no. inflation. Today, inflation. I'm like stressed. I'm going to take that home. I know. <laughs> you mentioned in your description that it comes out of the pan. Right. Was there a reason that you chose not to? I think it's food should be fun and interactive and um, it's great when you can unmold your own cake. That's what the guest always wants to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Oh boy, I'm very nervous for you and for me. Oh, I'm um, nervous too. Put it back on yeah, yourself. yeah, let's do it back on top. Okay. Okay, everybody. Let's all hope this goes well. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, maybe a... Tap, tap, tap. Yeah. Oh, 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 there you go. Wow. <gasps> Oh, and we got it. And we got it. We, yeah. <laughs> wow. I love that. <laughs> that looks great. Purple on the bottom. Yeah, purple on the bottom. Purple on the bottom. You can't see it. What are we looking at up top here? Because it's it's oozy. It's the cream. Yeah, that would be not, the pastry cream. Okay, not cake batter. Good. Good I, can't, I can't tell you from here, honestly. Okay. I'll take okay. That was just the start of my sentence. There's <laughs> <laughs> a very well, gloopy quality to it. I did use the word gloopy in in while I was making. How long was the cake baking for? I don't I don't remember. I just had so much fun. Um, I really lost track of time. I think it's underbaked. I would say that's a possibility. <laughs> I, I think it looks delicious. Cheers. 
I think it's really tasty. It's raw. <laughs> um. It's very raw. I, there may have been a hair. <laughs> No, what? <laughs> Nothing. Never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry my hair got in there. No. <laughs> Chefs, all four of you, you prepared for us some delicious, tasty dishes today. With one of them, at first glance, I sort of had to cock my head to see what was there. And the other one, it felt like we were just basking in its glory. And it was definitely an interesting combination for both of us. I think one thing that stood out is that the flavors were actually pretty good. And it was actually a little bit of a harder decision than we thought. But ultimately, I think butter was done justice today by at least one of the two dishes. So the winner is gonna be Johnny's Brown Butter Donuts. To, I'm not used to winning. Me too. Well, thanks so much for joining us on Phoning It In. Tune in next week. We have a new set of competitors and judges, although Johnny is coming back now to defend his title. Let's see if he can win two in a row. It's going to be huge. We'll see you next time. Bye. Next time on Phoning It In. Johnny, stop saying oh no. What is happening? That's never happened on this show. Duff, you were a massive inspiration for me. Welcome to the kitchen, bro. Whoa! Wow! If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again.